So when you researched about Philippines, mm. was there something that struck you the most that made you want to? Well, uh, we got to know they speak English among the Southeast Asian yeah, uh, countries, yeah, right? Yeah. So they speak English and um, that's interesting enough for us to come. Mm. But then we, we tried to learn one or two words before yeah. we go here, like Kamustapo. That's, you know, so, wow. that, so that, you know, you want to impress the, yeah. uh, the immigration when exactly. they talk to you. Yeah. Nobody wants to be deported, yeah. you know, all this kind of mentality. Yeah. What they told us that wasn't even true or near true it was, yeah. we can easily just take a train from the Philippines to Japan. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell me, um, have you, first of all, what were your culture shocks? Like, uh, you know, when you came to the Philippines, it's really different from Nigeria, the yeah, culture, yeah. everything. Okay. So, what was the things that struck you the most that you were like, ah, this is not being the one in my country? Yeah. yeah. Well, I won't lie, just uh, <clears throat> straight up, Filipinos then take a shower like three times in a day. Yeah. When yeah. in Nigeria, yeah, it's different. We barely even see water to take. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, like a, yeah. a shower, right? Yeah. So, uh, they change their clothes like two times, I mean, yeah, even yeah. more than. Yeah. Even up to three times. Yeah. Which whereas, Nigeria you know, we rugged, we yeah. we keep going with. Yeah. You know, things like that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, other people might be fronting like it's not like that for yeah. them, but it was yeah, like that I for us. Yeah. You know. So I mean so many so many things like uh I discovered they are as respectful as we Nigerians are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, so, not oh no no like they have this uh family or, or yeah, they're family oriented. That's yeah, true. yeah, well, I mean they're family oriented yeah. and um they like being together with their family yeah. and all that. All so, like Nigerians. Yeah, all like Nigerians. Uh, I mean, we, we, we're like that as well. Some some part of Nigeria, or some Nigerians like to stay with their family regardless. Why some are like birds, you know? Okay. They don't jump yeah. <laughs> Actually, the part of the family oriented is actually really true. Yeah. Because I noticed here in the Philippines that if, for example, I'm traveling to Manila from the province, yeah. All my family members want to see me off at the airport. Yeah. Because sometimes when I go to the airport and I see like so many people, so many families, I'm like, okay, maybe they are traveling together. Yeah. But it's later on you get to know that it's just only one person. person. Yeah. Yeah, and they they love get together like yeah, exactly. Sundays exactly. together with exactly. family. So that's really true. What about in terms of the food? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, when we got here. Yeah. We have less of an option, right? Yeah. Because, um, you know, so many people go, they travel abroad, right? Yeah. And they travel with a lot of money and yeah. all that. <laughs> In that case, I think I got there with $20. Mm. Yeah. My cousin, I mean, my cousin and my other friends arrived a week or two weeks before me. Okay. Maybe $200, £500. Yeah. Know. But I, I got here. I, I think I have me $20 and, mm. and my cousin was already owing somebody $10 <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we paid for us and the $10 I mean till what, today what yeah. mm. <laughs> so it, um, it about food anything that comes yeah no sure <laughs> we have no option yeah we just they walk on now no need to select <laughs> nah, at all <laughs> You want to wait, you know, for it, you yeah, drop out. Nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, I mean, it's very rough, but yeah, we can do it. So yeah, so what are the challenges you faced? You mean then? Yeah, back then. Oh, well, a lot, like financial, I mean, financial challenges and yeah. non-stop, yeah. you know, it's not, it's not as if our parents are, oh, yeah. uh, I mean, you know, like, yeah. Rich and all yeah. that in Nigeria. Yeah. So we we left on our own accord, like without even consent, like oh I'm going abroad, you mm -hmm. know all those you know all those kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, you don't expect anybody to send you money so you just have yeah. to survive. Mm -hmm. So like 
you have to hustle yeah. to pay your tuition. Yeah. Call all your aunties around the world, uncles and all that. Yeah. Some of them they will just very promise. nice to you. <laughs> Some of them they will just promise. Yeah. yeah. Some of them after asking them once. They won't, they won't, yeah, even, they won't pick your call again. Yeah, that's true. You know, and some of them are so generous, mm -hmm. they keep advising us. And yeah. I mean, that's human being, you know, yeah. you can't fault anybody for that. Mm -hmm.